Have you ever felt uncreative and boring sitting at your desk struggling to find a good idea? Let me tell you one thing. You are not boring, you are creative. Anyone can have awesome ideas by doing surprisingly simple things. We often have the notion of outstanding creatives who are born with this talent. But trust me, in this video I'm going to share five simple tips to enhance your creativity and discover great ideas. But why is creativity so important? We all admire creative individuals, famous artists, musicians, entrepreneurs and people who can envision something groundbreaking. If we look at the word creativity, we'll notice that it's not far away from creating. These creatives are not only capable of having a few cool ideas, they are also able to consistently put their ideas into action. So combining idea generation with effective execution equals creativity. Now that we know what creativity is, how do we achieve this creative state of mind? I personally express my creativity through visual mediums like design and art. Working as a freelancer and being a creative professional means that I have to tap into my creativity every single day. So here are five tips that I've developed over the years. Tip 1. Reset your mind. If we observe children, we can see that they are naturally creative because they aren't afraid of making mistakes, they aren't output driven and even if they don't like the outcome, it's all about having fun. I understand that this first step may seem incredibly simple, but it can be surprisingly challenging. Our attention is so often centered on the final product that we tend to overlook the importance of the process. So don't make the mistake of searching for this one big and outstanding idea that places way too much pressure on your shoulders, making it even more more challenging. Because searching for new ideas and judging them at the same time, that's definitely a horrible idea. Instead, try to collect as many ideas and thoughts as possible and try to find combinations and variations. Afterward, you can select the best idea. Now that we understand that playing around and allowing mistakes is super important, is there a good way to structure the process of finding ideas? Number two, finding ideas. The creative process often follows a singular pattern. There's a problem we aim to solve, got inspired in the past or actively searching for inspiration. Next, we collect and pick ideas. We test them mentally or in reality and only after that we can execute. Mm, okay, that sounds simple, but do you have a more concrete example? Sure, let's apply the process to the artwork you're currently working on. Do you remember the start of the video? You were sitting here and searching for a new idea for your artwork. That was the problem you tried to solve. If you are a pro, then searching for inspiration and finding the idea is one single step. I love to work with notes, a few words and ugly scribbles. I'm often the only person who can really understand what I'm scribbling, but <laughs> that's okay. After that, we can now start sketching. Don't make the mistake of testing every single idea by creating detailed sketches. Choose only one or two ideas. The only question we want to answer at this stage is does the idea work or not? Don't spend your time dwelling on all the other missed opportunities or other ideas. And don't focus too much on the steps in front of you, like the execution. This is the final step. Once you're confident that the idea will work and is good enough to give it a try, you can use some color. Okay, but what if I'm in a bad mood? We all have these bad days when generating ideas feels incredibly challenging. The huge advantage of categorizing your ideas like this is that you can work on multiple ideas and projects at the same time. Perhaps you have three sketches that aren't colored yet, which is perfect for a day when you don't feel innovative. Or maybe you had a great and inspiring weekend and rather than following each idea till the end, you just scribble them. So at the end it's up to you. An uninspired day has to be an uncreative one if you learn to structure your inspiration. Tip number three, inspiration. Let's talk honestly about inspiration. I can't tell you how much I hate when inspiration gets this spiritual quality and people are waiting for this magical shiny moment. Creativity is work, so it's not about waiting for inspiration, it's about actively seeking it out. You can search in movies, nature, conversations, books, YouTube videos, your past, and there are a thousand more options. Everything can be a source of inspiration if you are open to it. It's not about them inspiring you, it's always about you recognizing the influences. To achieve that, you have to consume a lot, but don't get lost in aimless consumption. You can find inspiration in every video, but simply watching video after video won't inspire you. It's important to know what you're searching for. And of course, there are those rare and brilliant moments when creative ideas spontaneously emerge and inspiration finds you. In those moments, be prepared and write down your ideas. I sometimes even forget how old I am, so I might forget this brilliant idea I had in the supermarket last week. Writing down spontaneous ideas is key. Take notes on your phone, a notebook can be helpful, use some post-its or save inspirational pictures in a folder on your computer. I know this tip was short, but it will help you to execute. 
Tip 5. Execute. Creativity comes from the act of creating. All your ideas and thoughts are worth nothing if you can't find a way to express them. It doesn't have to be something visual or even professional. You can also take up an instrument as a hobby or write a letter to your friend. Learning to execute my ideas and to express my feelings helped me a lot in enjoying life more and to discover its beauty. And here's a pro tip. This is your buddy in a normal mood. If we try new things, our body produces acetylcholine. Bro, what the f***? Wasn't there an easier name? Acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter, enhance creativity and the generation of ideas. Therefore, try new things and the overall satisfaction of executing your ideas will further help to generate even more ideas. And that's the whole magic. I've started to add as many new challenges and interesting things to my schedule as I can. I collect all my ideas for the bad days, because an uninspired day hasn't to be an uncreative one, and I've started to see everything around me as an inspiration. So creativity is a way to think and act. You don't have to change your entire lifestyle, implement a new daily routine or establish crazy habits. You are already creative. The only challenge is to reawaken this part of your brain and to create a cycle of inspiration and of course execution. So what are you waiting for? Let's go! Creativity isn't about waiting, it's about searching. But it's not, it's not, it's not you It's not, it's not, it's not It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Creativity is super important, but another topic that is really important if you want to become an artist Find your unique art style That's exactly the topic of my last video, so make sure to check it out right here I'll see you there